Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie, and welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Okay, before we get started, I would like to invite anybody who hasn't already to hit that word subscribe. When you do, give the videos thumbs up, share them if you can, and leave me a comment. I got a lot to talk about. <laughs> okay. Um, I told y'all that um, I would tell y'all what had been going on with me of why I didn't put videos up for one or two weeks. Okay. Um, Y'all know that we got one of them expensive uh, e-bikes for my husband to ride back and forth to work because he don't drive. Um, well, not too long after he started riding the bike back and forth to work, um, he got hit by a car. Yeah. Uh, not his fault. The car was, he, he was cutting through a parking lot to cut a little bit of time. But he was at the exit, the entrance exit of the, the place. And the car was coming out of the drive through exit. And instead of turning to the way he was going to turn, because my husband was watching him, uh, no, he hit the gas real hard and come back and hit my husband on the bike. And then squalled tires and drove away real fast. Well, there's nothing that the law can do about it because there's no cameras. And it happened so fast that nobody got a license plate number. Nothing. So, well, a couple weeks ago, um, he was riding his bike, and uh, he was he he made it to work. He worked all day, and he was riding it coming home. Well, there's one section of town that he has to ride through. That I got to be honest. I don't even like driving through it. It's disgusting. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just bad. Real, real bad. All right, but um, he was coming home and he was going through that section of town. And uh, he gets off after dark. And, um, A group of guys was standing over to the side, and uh, I, I guess they was up to no good. I don't know. I, I wasn't there. But this is what my husband told me, that uh, one of them come running out at him and just pushed him on his side, on the side of, yeah, and just pushed him. Well, he temporarily, well, I guess it would be temporarily because it, it happened so fast, it was like a minute and it was over. Um, temporarily lost control of the bike because of the, the shove. And he went across the road down an embankment and wiped out on um, it's like a sidewalk but it's wide and it's paved and he, he wiped out on it well um, 
both of his feet were really bruised up bad and, and hurt real bad. We, he didn't go to the doctor. Um, but I think he either jammed or broke something in both big toes. Because the pedals on the bike, you push them in and they fold up flat because the bike you can fold it up and, and make it like compact I, I, I don't ride the bike I can't <laughs> my granddaughters rode it uh, she wiped out too <laughs> um, but it also scraped up his knee real bad it hurt his hip thank god he wears a helmet um, but I went back to, uh, taking him back and forth to work, but for a couple of days, um, he was using one of my old canes just to, to walk because his feet hurt so bad. I guess the pedals, when he wrecked, uh, crunched up on his feet. Anyway. So, I've been dealing with that. And, uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, one of my cousins passed away. Yeah. So, I've been having my own little emotional things on that. <sighs> like I told y'all in, in that, in that, thing um life happened anything that could have went wrong did so yeah all right but this is a yarn channel not necessarily crochet but yarn <laughs> so let's get to the yarn Um, and I'm not telling y'all that because I want any kind of sympathy or anything. Um, just some of y'all like knowing what's going on in my life. So, I tell y'all things. Not everything. <laughs> some things are just for me. <laughs> but y'all my friends. All right. All right, y'all remember when I went to Joanne's, or I told y'all I went to Joanne's, I showed y'all that long receipt? Yeah. I think it was uh, $241. Yeah. Um, well, my husband, um, that's when he went with me. All right, so I didn't get <laughs> what I needed. <laughs> Oh, I thought I had enough of one yarn, and I did not. So, I had to go back. Well, this time, my daughter went with me. Yeah. We had a real fun shopping trip. Um, cut up and carried on, and just the two of us out having fun. Well, when we went... I found a couple of extra things that I needed. I did get the yarn that I needed. Yeah. Not all of it. Because apparently my Joann's has stopped selling uh, the uh, Big Twist cotton. Yeah. They've got other cotton. But they have stopped selling the Big Twist cotton. And it is the only Joann's anywhere around me. So, I got the corporate office number so that I could contact them and let them know that, hey, um, I like this cotton and I would like to purchase this cotton. <laughs> Especially considering that on the website, it said that it was on sale for $1.14 a skein. Yeah. 
So my husband told me to get about 40 skeins of it because I use a lot of cotton. Um, yeah, but they didn't have it. They ain't had it in a long time. But, okay. God, I keep on going just left field. All right, I found a couple of books. Well, yeah, a couple of books and a kit that I, I liked. So, let me show you the, the one book. It's got uh, 20 animal granny squares to make. And plus, in the back, there's... um. A couple of, well, no. Okay, in the back it just shows um, how to put the squares together with solids to make a blanket. But, this is the book. And I really like it because it's a hard, it's a, um, a hard cover book, hardback. Yeah. But it's got tons of little animal granny squares. Now, I can't do them on my channel exactly like in the book because that's that's copyright law. So if I can change the pattern enough, then I can. So we might be doing that. All right, the next book. And same deal with changing the pattern. Okay, it is Crocheted Succulents. A ton of them. There is, let me get my glasses. Okay, it says, 25 fun and easy projects. So I guess that means there's 22 uh, cactus or cacti and succulents in this book because I've looked through it and three of the patterns are for different little um, crocheted uh, flower pots. Yeah. Anyway, so, got this book. And on to the kit. And no, that's not Pikachu. That's uh, Eevee. But it is a Pokemon crochet kit. And you get the hook and the yarn and the stuff in and the instructions. Okay? But... The reason why I got this is because in the instructions, it shows how to make six different Pokemon. My granddaughter loves Pokemon. She collects Pokemon cards. Okay. On to the next thing. All right. Um, <clears throat> I showed y'all the picture on my community tab of the, uh, the, uh, the blanket and, and Miss Helen, she made, um, a pillow with the same yarn, uh, to go with the blanket and, uh, we all in that picture, every single one of them in that picture, um, that I listed by name. Uh, had a hand in making squares for that uh, that blanket, and uh, Miss Monica actually uh, sewed them together and put the border around it. Okay. Um. And and we presented it to the woman and had the the picture done and stuff. Okay. Um. Well, before she left, she said that there was a uh, another charity coming up. And I, I can't say the name right, 
I, I just, I'm country and I can't say it. So if you want to laugh at the way I say it, that's fine. Uh, um, but I said in the community tab what that that blanket and pillow was donated for. And it's, um, <laughs> I know y'all gonna laugh at me. Uh, Alzheimer's. All, all, Alzheimer's, what, however you say it, I don't know. Most of the time I joke around and I call it old timers. <laughs> all because I know I can't say the name right. <laughs> all right, well, before she left, she said there was another charity coming up that they were going to do an auction on. And uh, this one is for um, um, cancer. Yeah. And because I just lost my brother not too long ago for cancer. Um, this hits real close to home. <clears throat> so I definitely want to get involved in that one. Definitely. <coughs> So, I'm, I'm, we're all going to talk today about that. And, uh, well, me and TT, we've been busy. This is the square. It's a little bit curled on the end. Uh, this is the square that, one of the squares that I have made for cancer. Yeah, and all it is is single crochets and bobbles. That's it. Very easy. Um, I might be able to, to do that square on here. I don't know. I'll try. Um, it's not my pattern. Um... But, I have altered it enough because the original pattern is narrower and long. And I didn't like it being a rectangle like that. So, I altered the pattern and made it more square. I'll have to check into it. Um, but anyway, that's, that's what we're going to talk about today in group is doing a blanket for the the charity coming up for cancer. And the reason another reason why this is important to me, even if the group don't want to do it, I'll do it by myself. Because I got in touch with my mom and I asked her to do me a favor. So, this morning, she, she finally got around to it. And this morning, she sent me a picture. And that picture is of a piece of paper that she wrote down on of family members, my family members, that have passed away from cancer or had cancer at some point in their life. And honestly, um, out of this list, only one is still alive. Yeah. And it's a pretty extensive list. Okay. Um, my grand, my grandma, my mama's mama, she had, uh, uter uterine cancer, okay, and I, she didn't tell me what relation some of these people are to me, because some of them I don't even know, uh, Sally, I think she was an aunt, like a great aunt, um, she had brain cancer. All right, and then um, Aunt Dorothy, uh, she had breast cancer. 
and uh, cousin Vivian, so I think it's a second cousin, uh, she had lung cancer. And Lois, I don't have no clue how related I am to her. Uh, she had lung cancer. Okay, my great aunt Lucille. Um, she was there when I was born, and she's the one that named me. Because my mom thought I was going to be a boy. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> so my mom didn't have a girl name picked out. <clears throat> so my great aunt Lucille <clears throat> is the one that named me. She had lung cancer. Her daughter, Kathy, um, she had ovarian cancer. My great aunt, Teddy, uh, she had mouth and throat cancer. Um, I guess you would say he was my great uncle. Might be great, great uncle. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I think he's my great uncle. Les, which is short for Leslie. He had lung cancer. And my cousin that just recently passed away, um, his brother, younger brother, um, has already passed away, and he had lung cancer. And uh, then my brother just passed away. He had um, colon cancer and um, bladder cancer. But they came from another cancer that was a very rare form of cancer. I don't know. It starts with an N, I think. Anyway, the, the colors for it is uh, zebra. So if you want to look it up, there you go. Um, and last but definitely not least, um, my sister. Uh, my sister, Laura, uh, she is, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Well, she went through treatments, and I think it's either in remission or gone. But, y'all know, she's not out of the woodwork. Okay. But... That also leaves me to this. One of my subscribers has a stage four cancer. Okay. And I would like to do a square for this blanket for her. So, if you're watching, and I hope you are, and you don't mind letting me know what type of cancer you have. I would love to do a square for this donation blanket for you. You're always on my on my mind, in my heart, and definitely in my prayers. So if you don't mind, please either um, send me a, 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 a messenger message, an email, uh, tell me on the Facebook group, uh, leave me a comment on this video. There's multiple ways that you can get in touch with me. And uh, <clears throat> if you don't mind, like I said, let me know what type of cancer you have so that I can do a, a square for this, this cancer blanket for charity for you. All right, y'all. That's going to be all for today. This was a pretty deep uh, video, and I apologize for that. I usually try to keep it very light and airy, but I got a lot going on. I do. Um, 
Right now, I'm working on three charities. Three. The lap dance for the nursing home. The cancer blanket for um, that charity. And I have started what I'm calling the traveling Afghan. Yes. Um, it is a rectangular granny square. And... I'm, I'm taking it to group tonight, and at, I'm hoping that somebody at group is going to take this piece home, and them add a row, and have other people's add rows, and let's see how big we can make this, and me and one of the women, Miss Vicki, at group was talking about um, uh, donating it to an animal shelter. Uh, for them to auction or sell and raise money for the the animals at the animal shelter. Yep. So that's three charities currently that I am working on, and this is why I I say all the time that I'm overextending myself. I'm piling way too much on my plate. <laughs> I need to choke down some of it before I add anything else. <laughs> but luckily, all the lapgans are almost done. I, I honestly think that the only ones I've got left to do are the ones for the crochet alone, which I don't know if anybody's even doing. But anyway, this is almost a 30 minute video. I got to go. <laughs> all right. I guess uh, I will meet you back here in the next one for another grand adventure right here in Val's Yarn Room. And I truly do love each and every single one of y'all pieces. And do something nice for somebody, even if it's just a smile. <laughs> Look, it's my face. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> y'all, please forgive me. I'm I'm goofy. All right, I guess there ain't nothing left to say other than get your crochet on. I'm gonna. Bye, y'all. <laughs>